My name is Aurika. I'm a co-founder of HammondBasedVentilation.com. Uh, here on our website, you can learn more about the non-invasive ventilation via helmet. Um, or the infographics, you can go on this website uh, page where you can learn more about the therapy and how to connect the helmet. And also there is a guidelines for the uh, clinicians. Those guidelines are coming from uh, University of Chicago Medicine and are made by Dr. Patel. So in my hands, I have a sub -cell, um, helmet and uh, uh, Mr. Michael Lombardi sent it to us yesterday. So I'm very happy to talk about it. And uh, here is actually a video of the helmet inflated. You can see how it's getting connected to the, it's connected already to the airflow and this is just the uh, peep valve and actually the filter connected to it. And you see it inflates, inflates instantly. So uh, when I hold the helmet, there is a few great features for it. Uh, it is actually one unit, so there is no parts that can get disconnect from uh, uh, from the helmet. Everything is uh, nicely sealed together, so there is no air leak. And uh, as you can see, this part, this is uh, the, the neck seal. It comes in different sizes, so you don't have to cut it. If you need to, you definitely can do that, but there is no need for it. You just order the size of helmet that you will be using. Another feature is that you, this part of the helmet is not a hard plastic. It is a little bit thicker um, plastic that keeps the shape of the helmet, but it, it can be bent or moved around. And I will show you why it is important when I put the helmet on. Uh, also, here are the openings for to connect the uh, inflow for the for the air and output where you connect the filter and the peep valve, and you can regulate the pressure. Um, now I'm gonna put this on. This is a small size helmet. So again, very important part about the outlet when you connect the filter, you are able to stop the virus spread. So usually you have two employees putting the helmet on, but I'm going to do it by myself. All right, and it's pretty easy as you can see. The seal is really good here. Um, it looks light, it feels comfortable, and if I wanted to recline on my chair or in my bed, uh, I have no hard parts that will be pressing on my skin. So that's very important because these helmets can be worn for many days and many nights. So you want to make sure the patient is able to sleep. Another great thing is it has a third port. This is where you can get some uh, uh, fluids or suction the patient. So for example, here if we put the stored fluid, so the patient should first seal the lips around it. And so that prevents from spreading that water in the face, okay? But it's a great feature to have, so you don't have to discontinue the ventilation uh, for a patient to take a sip of water or to take uh, food. Also, you can use the yank car, so it's a big enough hole that you can fit the yank car through and you can suction the patient. This goes under your armpits and so from the pressure, the helmet uh, will rise up a little bit. So that's gonna hold it in place. And it can be adjusted based on the patient. All right, so I'm gonna take this off now. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna show you uh, how this helmet is connected. Like I said, the inlet, you can choose any of these ports. So you will have your oxygen uh, connection and medical air. And that's again, based on how much oxygen the patient will need. And then the outlet, this is where you have a filter and peep valve. 
This helmet can be connected to the wall gases like I, it was shown in this picture. Also, it can be connected to the BiPAP machine or the ventilator if you have one. All right, so more information is on our website that is updated 24-7. Thank you for watching.